Hello and welcome to day 22 of 30 Days of Lightroom. Today we're going to show you Adobe's brand new de-noise feature, which will completely remove the noise from any photo. It's kind of amazing. Let's show you how to use it. Hello and welcome back to our series where we teach you everything you need to know about Lightroom in 30 days. Today we're talking about de-noise. Now this is a powerful feature. Historically, we've always tried to avoid shooting at a high ISO on our cameras because it's gonna result in some noise. But now it's cameras have gotten so good and with this AI noise removal, it's not that big of a deal. So if you're out shooting in low light conditions and you still wanna use a fast shutter speed, don't be afraid to bump up that ISO. Now, keep in mind, this is only going to work with raw photographs. So if you have your camera set to JPEG, make sure you change that to either JPEG plus raw or raw photographs. And if you want to, you can download today's sample image totally free. Just click on the link right down below. That'll help so you can follow along. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we're gonna start off by looking at our image settings. So as you can see, this is a raw photograph. It's a shot at 1 8,000th of a second, so there's gonna be no motion blur here. We're shot at f2.8, which makes the background really out of focus and creates these really nice bokeh that you can see there. And it's at ISO 3200, which makes the sensor pretty sensitive to light. Now, generally the reason why you wanna use a higher ISO is because you wanna use a very fast shutter speed, like one over 8,000, or maybe you're in a situation that doesn't have a lot of light. So you're gonna compensate with ISO. Now, the only downside really with bringing up your ISO is that it's going to introduce some noise. So let's go ahead and hit Control or Command Plus a couple times and see that we do in fact have some noise with our subjects. And I'm very zoomed in. So let's go ahead and move into our develop module. There we go. And we're gonna be able to remove all this basically a click. So here in the develop module, we're gonna to go to detail. Now in detail, you're gonna see noise reduction and then de-noise. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and you're gonna see it's going to enhance this using AI to improve image quality. The result will be saved as a new DNG. A DNG is a digital negative file. This is a raw file. So it's basically just gonna create a duplicate raw file for us. Now, make sure you clicked on de-noise and here you can see a little preview. And if I click and drag this, it turns my preview off and on, okay? So clicking and dragging, you can see basically the before and after, or you can simply just click if you don't wanna move it for that before and after. Now, here in the shadows, you're gonna see more noise than in the highlights. So I recommend kind of moving over to a shadow area. And then for your amount slider, I recommend starting this at zero and then moving to the amount, there we go, where you think everything looks good, but I would kind of caution you away from just going all the way up to 100 because you might result in a setting that just doesn't have a lot of detail and doesn't look very natural, okay? So my suggestion is to take this amount slider and just move from left to the right, keeping an eye on your little preview there and go to a place in which you feel like, okay, this is a really nice balance between my image looks great, but I still have all the detail that I want. And usually right about 50 to 60 is going to look really good. So I can again, click and press and unpress here to show the without enhance and enhance. Okay, and this is looking really good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stack this with my original photograph so they're both basically grouped together in the library module. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and click on enhance. You're gonna see it's going to create a DNG using denoise. Alrighty, this, I mean, it's AI, right? So it's like, it kind of does all the work for you. And there we go. We are completely good to go with our denoise. Now, if you see, this is actually the denoise photo. Noise reduction, it says denoise has been applied to this photo. So it's already good to go. Now, if you wanted to change settings, you can go back to the original image and then run the denoise again. I'm gonna move into our library module real quick and let's go to our grid view here, okay? Now, as you can see, they're stacked together. So if you're ever like, wait, there's only one photo, this little icon lets you know that they did stack together. Remember, we chose the option stacking during the denoise process. So let's go ahead and click on this icon here. It's going to open up both photos, okay? So here is the denoise version. Here's the noise without, or here's the original. We're gonna hold Control or Command and click on both of these, okay? And then we're gonna go right down here to our side-by-side -side view and you can see the difference that we have here. So this is our original photograph with all this noise 
and then here is the denoised version. And you can see the original one is a raw file, it's just denoise. And then here is the duplicate that made denoise enhanced noise reduction.dng. And if I move over into Finder, you can see that both of them are now included. And I'm going to include both of these in your download totally free so you can follow along. Um, but it did create another DNG right beside the original. So that's literally all there is to it. So the next time you're going out, maybe you're in low light conditions, don't worry so much about bumping up that ISO. It's going to be a lot better to have a little bit of noise in your photograph that you can remove later than it would be to have a slow shutter speed, which will cause your subject to be blurry. Alrighty, well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. It really help out. And if you want to get more free tutorials, simply click on subscribe. Thanks again, and I will learn you later. Bye, everyone.